Don Ives, a Wedbush analyst, said, The value of Tesla's shares is significantly at danger as a result of Elon Musk's decision to concentrate more on fixing Twitter. In this video, we examine how this might impact the future of the stock. And let me tell you, the future of these changes is terrible for Tesla investors. Due to Musk's track record of success, which includes expanding the electric vehicle manufacturing and accomplishing the unthinkable, becoming a formidable competitor to the Toyotas and Fords of the world. Many investors have invested in Tesla. However, even while this has drawn a lot of attention to the stock, it has also led to what many industry analysts refer to as key person overhang over the stock price. Tesla's future and Musk's future are so linked that any damage to Musk's reputation also damages Tesla. Ides claims that Musk's Twitter campaign has turned into a circus act that stirs up controversy practically every day and may continue to drive down Tesla's stock price even beyond the current 50% decline. Ides foresees more suffering, even though it doesn't seem like things can get any worse. How much lower can the stock go? 70, 80, 90% down. Watch to learn more. Please click the like and subscribe buttons before we continue. Ives notes that the possible drawbacks of Elon's acquisition of Twitter have already caused a sharp decline in the value of Tesla's stock. Since he tweeted about buying shares at the beginning of 2022, the share price has decreased by 50%. Additionally, following Musk's finalized $44 billion purchase of Twitter at the end of the previous month, shares have fallen 27%. Since the Nasdaq 100 hasn't altered much since then, it is likely that Tesla's decline is isolated to the business alone. ICE forecasts that Tesla stock will continue to decline. According to ICE, there are three ways that must attempt to turn around Twitter could be detrimental to Tesla's stock and its owners. The first is that, in order to pay for the business's expenses, Musk will probably sell additional Tesla stock. Elon Musk sold $3.95 billion worth of Tesla stock since completing his purchase of Twitter late last month. Musk, the CEO of Tesla, had agreed to buy Twitter for $44 billion. Since it was revealed that he intended to purchase Twitter, rumors have been circulating that he will sell 19.5 million shares of Tesla. Musk has sold off $15.4 billion worth of Tesla stock in pieces. Musk supposedly bought Twitter on October 27th, but on November 4th, he sold more Tesla stock. It's unclear if Musk utilized the money he raised to acquire Twitter or to make up for business losses. Musk disclosed last week that the business has seen a significant decline in sales since he took over after buying Twitter. This is as a result of several sponsors stopping their financial support of the website. Although Twitter had already lost $270 million in the quarter that ended on June 30th, his argument for the loss in advertising revenue claimed that, quote, activist groups were to blame before Musk took control and advertisers started departing. It only had $2.5 billion in cash as of June 30. Not much for a business that size. Along with the idea to charge customers $8 per month for verified accounts, he has also disclosed considerable staff losses. Ides referred to the past two weeks under Musk's leadership as a debacle of epic proportions. Musk may have had to sell Tesla stock over the past two weeks due to significant losses at Twitter, which might have been used to pay off short-term borrowing to complete the deal. Ives forewarned that this situation will worsen into a quicksand as Musk spends more time on Twitter. Ives recognized a second risk. There is a chance that the brands of Musk and Tesla could suffer. As previously reported, Elon's declaration that he had invested in Twitter at the beginning of April 2020 timed with a sharp 50% decline in the price of Tesla's stock. Since he made his Twitter position public, Musk has sold $20 billion worth of his own shares, which has heightened the pressure but other dangers are just around the corner. Just two of the many challenges Tesla is facing are worries about Chinese demand and a regulatory inquiry into the autopilot driving assistance system. Investors are concerned that Elon is being overly candid about his Twitter issues. A reader's count shows that from November 1 through November 15, more than two-thirds of Musk's tweets this month, which he started sending on the platform he bought in October, a bit about his efforts to revive Twitter. His tweets about Tesla accounted for just 3% of them, which is a sharp decline from the average of nearly 16% over the previous eight months.
Elon's public remarks against Twitter have been a public relations headache for Tesla since they associate the firm with his contentious choice to buy Twitter, his efforts to have the acquisition revoked, as well as the subsequent lawsuit, wished to bring back problematic users who had been expelled in the past, such Andrew Tate and Donald Trump. Number 3 Risk Tesla struggled to scale up Model 3 manufacturing in 2018, therefore Musk is now concentrating on Twitter rather than Tesla. At the time, Elon Musk spent the entire night working and sleeping at the Tesla facilities in California and Nevada. Investors were happy to see Elon at Tesla, as you might expect. But now, in contrast, Musk said that in early November 2022, he had worked and slept at Twitter's San Francisco headquarters. As a self-described nano-manager, Musk is renowned for putting in extra time during times of need. The billionaire's extensive use of Twitter has developed. Investors at Tesla are concerned about his capacity to concentrate as the CEO of the most valuable car in the world. Investors in Tesla will feel frustrated. Gene Munster is the managing partner at Set Loot Ventures. He'll probably use Twitter more frequently than Tesla. Elon asserted that investors like himself have Tesla covered and that he will be working there this week. Tesla has a facility in Fremont and a business in Palo Alto. Musk may not be trusted by Tesla investors. Munster predicted that Musk would concentrate on Twitter for 6 to 12 months because Tesla is now more established and less dependent on Musk as a result of Twitter's acquisition. The burden for Musk has increased. He said via video link on Monday to a business meeting in Indonesia, I have too much on my plate. At the Barron Investment Conference earlier this month, Musk said that Twitter is simpler to manage than either SpaceX or Tesla. Tesla's board has been concerned about Musk's commitment to SpaceX and many other businesses for a very, very long time. For instance, Tesla board chair Robin Denholm indicated in an email from 2018 that Musk's minimum tenure at Tesla was becoming increasingly problematic. Tesla shareholder alleges in court filings from his wage trial that the board failed to approve his $56 billion compensation package without needing his full-time attention. Another board member, Ira Aaron Preece testified in court that Musk was paid for results rather than for his time. When asked about the key man risk at Tesla's annual meeting in August, Musk acknowledged it in a 2021 deposition and responded, We have a brilliant crew here. Tesla, in my opinion, would function normally even if I were abducted by aliens or returned to my home planet. Maybe some of Musk's early backers think he can handle the Twitter issue. He is excellent. Tim Draper a billionaire investor, told readers. Others, however, have lost patience. Let's get back to the video subject, longtime Tesla supporter Don Ives. He said on Monday that Musk had accomplished what the bears had been unable to do for years. Take Tesla stock down. Ives referred to Twitter as Musk's albatross, a diversion, and a money pit. He said that the Twitter circus show was progressively harming Tesla's immaculate EV brand. All of this leads us to the conclusion regarding the future of Tesla stock. Tesla's business appears stable, with demand holding up, while Musk concentrates on Twitter. Given Tesla's recent stock price decline, Ives continued, the company will produce 2 million vehicles in 2023 despite the uncertain macroeconomic backdrop. Ives thinks the Twitter overhang is exaggerated. Ives continued, Musk is always digging a deeper hole around the Twitter issue which is problematic in the market because perception is reality. Ives is confident that Elon and Tesla will prosper. He advises putting faith in the process and disregarding the Twitter issue. Do you trust Elon's method of prediction? Comment below and let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate you viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.